Hello from this beautiful cloudy day in Nanchuan, China. This is my wife, Olga. And today, my father-in-law, for some reason, really wants to eat some fish. We all eat fish. Well, most people do. If you like meat, you like fish. Anyway, you get what I'm saying. This is fish that is, think of it like in a market. But instead of being in a market, it is in the shop. So there's a little small plastic container of fish and my father-in-law wants to eat it. So we're going to buy it and he will cook it. He claims that he can cook it. So let's give it a shot. Before we go into the supermarket, Olga, can you talk about fish from where you're from, Yakust, and what you're used to eating there? And your mother-in-law said that she can't cook this fish. She doesn't know if she can cook it. So can you explain fish from Yakust? I think my parents will explain better. So whenever we get home, they will tell everything what they do about their uh, way of cooking and how like how they do it so let's just keep walking to the store and then we go back home and see how we do the kit. As they say, happy wife, happy life. Let's see what she says. So we want to say that we really like our neighborhood because there are many small shops where we can buy bread and groceries, fruits, veggies, and everything is so fresh. And uh, all these people who work here, they know us. Sometimes we get like free gifts um, just for no reason. For example, just a few, few nights ago, we were walking by here and the lady from the bakery, she just stopped us and she said, here's two pieces of bread for you. Just, 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 just like that. This is the fish. I was expecting they would just chop its head off, but I didn't expect they would kill it by slamming it on the concrete pavement. That was the first time experience for me. Something I didn't expect. You know, I spent uh, nearly five years in Korea and I never bought a fish at the market, never. So even though I've been overseas for uh, quite some time, I this is my first time doing it. Olga, was it your first time too, and your time living abroad? Um, I think yes, it was my first time. Even though I'm from the place where we eat frozen and raw fish, and it's like not surprising for us, but the way they do it here, it's something very unusual. Mm -hmm. Mother-in-law said that she can't she doesn't know how to clean the fish properly, but 
the gentleman who killed the fish actually was kind enough to clean it for us. So we don't have to do any cleaning. All we do is cook it. Reba. <laughs> Не быстро получится. А ему сколько минут надо занять? Сколько угодно. Не быстро получится. Сейчас смешиваем с мукой. Делаем так. Это все с луком отправили. Угу. Ладно, мы потом этот лук помоем. И я... То есть мы Делаем по середке. Вот так. Две части. И тут. Where's the beer? We have to get it. Mm -hmm. One golden. Okay, so my family, they're from the far east of Russia, and in their culture, they like to eat fish from the river. So it's no surprise to me why my father-in-law wanted to get fish. But this fish is different because from Russia, where he's from, they catch the fish from the river, not from the market. So 
Let's ask him his opinion on the fish. So, can you please tell me what you what do you think of the way they killed the fish? How did they kill the fish in Yakust? Я сам своими глазами не видел, как убивает. Ну вот посмотрел на видео, я скажу, что так мы с добычей, будь то рыба, будь то дичь какая-нибудь или зверь, мы так не поступаем. Another question I'd like to ask is for our viewers. Can you please tell us the specific type of fish in Yakust? Because, you know, there are big fish that I've seen from the photos of the family history. And what is the name of the fish in Yakust that is very famous among the Evenki people in Yakust? В Якутии очень много рек, которые впадают в северный ледовитый океан. И каждая река имеет разные ассортименты рыбы. Но по всем северным рекам самые такие массовые популярные рыбы это чир, умур. Ну, еще... Есть такая рыба нельма, она размером очень большая, может полтора-два метра размером быть, но э, нельмы не так много, как вчера и омуля. И он очень дорого стоит. Very expensive. Okay. Now, I've never been to Yakuz, I want to go badly. Um, can you please tell us about the very famous dish called frozen fish? Now, People around the world love sushi, but frozen fish in Yakus is very different. My wife loves it. Can you please tell us about frozen fish, your tradition? Устроганили это не сырая рыба. Мы потребляем устроганину замороженной рыбы при температуре минус 35, 40, 50 градусов. И uh, минусовая температура это та же термическая обработка, все равно как это жаришь, паришь, но с другой стороны минус 40-50 градусов и при этом получается как бы то уже рыба прошла термическую обработку. И при этом эта рыба сохраняет все самые вкусовые качества. Сохраняет все э, витамины, э, ферменты, гормоны, все, что полезно, он э, такой, такой консервации рыба сохраняет. А мы <coughs> традиционно на севере вот такую рыбу кушаем в виде строганины. Ножом строгаем стружки и э, потребляем пищу там, с переправой, там, и, ну, кто как может, с солью. Вот так уж и в натуральном виде, свежем, вот термическая обработка делает мороз. I've eaten this fish and I give it a 5 out of 10. Not because of his cooking, just, I don't know, I just, I don't know. I'm, just, I'm used to eating fish in the restaurant, not freshly caught. So maybe I just need more experience. So I'm curious about his opinion. 1 to 10, on a scale of 1 to 10, how good is it? Ну, вкус дело о вкусах не спорит. А, но если сравнивать с, с нашей рыбой северных рек, конечно, она э, очень простая рыба. А, но все зависит еще от того, как, как приготовить. Но в данном случае вот моя готовка, моя готовка была универсальная, чтобы без всяких изысков, просто быстро и э, чтобы сытно было с мукой, переправами соль, э, лук и все, и масло. Well, there are many videos on YouTube of people eating food, but I'd like to hope that this different take, this different perspective with my communist Russian father-in-law eating fish in China was an interesting experience for you. And I hope you have yourself a good day and thank you for watching.